Much love, family. What's going on? Hope everybody doing great and making it in these these weird times. And may my great creator protect us from ourselves. That's something I like to say. Because it's a lot of a lot of killing and a lot of hurting going on these days, unfortunately. No matter how we try to stay positive and you know push out positive energy, which we should and we have to because we got to keep pushing out that balance. And you know, a lot of brothers, a lot of young brothers, middle-aged brothers, older brothers, and some sisters, we see a lot dying these days. And and I like to welcome in my brothers and sisters that listen. And for those of you who are hip hop heads, that's why I had this in my spirit and my thoughts. And I want to ask you the question. And if you're more than welcome to put your thoughts in the comments, EBX cares all day, every day. And you know, I have a like a lot of us high vibrational kings and queens do. We have a lot of things running through our minds sometimes, especially if you're an empath. And we meditate on a lot of things that's going on, whether it's within our personal life or it's things we see in the world. And one of the things that came up in my spirit is what will hip hop become? And first off, to talk about hip hop and to know hip hop, I think you have to study a little bit about it. And if you were from the 70s era, you are blessed. You are blessed if you born into this world regardless. But the 70s was a beautiful era. And I'm very thankful and proud to be born in that era. So I can really appreciate where hip hop really came from and what the definition of hip hop is. Cause you lot of, got a lot of, uh, we got a lot of intelligent young brothers and sisters, but they're more computer savvy. But do they really, you know, do they really know the real roots of hip hop and what hip hop means and the elements and what it's really all about and what it was meant for? And do people even know now, I'm, I'm sure a lot of brothers and sisters, especially the hip hop heads, they know what the word hip hop means. And it is high, infinite power helping our people. That's what hip hop means. And this comes from engaging with other brothers and sisters that really truly love hip hop. And I love hip hop. And I am 50. But I, I listen to all music. I like my old school music. And especially if it has a... I like all kinds of music. Especially if it has a message in it. And it's uplifting. And it's something that you learn from. That's the kind of music that I like. Now, before I really became conscious and aware of myself and things. I was, you know, I like the N.W.A. and... You know the gangster rap and you know I came up on that so I listened to that music too but I never really it did kind of change my my perception of women how I used to treat women I think some of the hip-hop that I listened to played a little part in that but I don't solely blame all my uh, challenges with women on hip-hop but some of it did have some influence I'd be lying if I said it wasn't but there was also a lot of good positive hip-hop and i took in more positive hip-hop than the gangster hip-hop because i always been a kind smooth laid-back brother and so i always you know was more toward the positive uplifting hip-hop you know public enemy um stop the violence I'm sure everybody remember that song. And, you know, it's many others. And, you know, that's what I was geared toward. That's what 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 my spirit went for. It was a positive hip hop. I filtered, filtered out the gangster type because I'm not, I never called myself a gangster. You know, I did what I had to do to meet challenges, but I was always myself. I've always been a kind person. 
and it's actually my defense mechanism being kind and it's, it's a part of being an empath but as you grow and i'm gonna get back to hip-hop but this is part of hip-hop too you know being an empath will make you a great hip-hop artist because you care about others but anyway being an empath growing up my kindness was my protection and as i you know as you grow and as you get older and you develop your empathic abilities you know you 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 learn that power of anticipation you know and you're more aware of things to come what you want and what your value is and that's what makes a great hip hop artist and it's so sad that you know we've gotten away from that all the distractions they just all the crooked CEOs and managers and people who's not really about the music have really tainted hip hop and I don't know all all there is to know about hip hop but I know enough and I know I love it I love hip hop I love, especially the uplifting hip hop from a brother or a sister if, if you're a great artist putting out a good message I'm with you you know I wonder if we'll then there is positive hip hop rappers out there you know hip hop a lot of good artists and my favorite thing is to listen to the underground artists. I love listening to the unspoken hero artists, those kind, the ones that are not trying, that's not going for the glamour and the, the attention and want to get known, just letting it happen. Cause it don't matter how long it take, you put out good vibes to the universe, it's gonna come back, whether it's sooner or later. And how do we know this, my brothers and sisters? Because we experience this, right? Especially when you have elevated and you have rise and you're willing to pull others up with you because there's so much strength in unity. When all mental faculties are on board with our brothers and sisters, especially when it's pertaining, pertaining to hip hop because that's the biggest influence to our young youth. And I just want to say, Rest in peace and rest in power to all hip hop artists that have died in the past and here recently. It's becoming, I don't know if I want to call it an epidemic, epidemic, I don't know what to call it, but why do our, and it's, we have white uh, hip hop artists that die also, and, but why do all our artists, especially our black artists, they always die. I mean, what is that? Or get shot or, or involved in some kind of violent act. I mean, how did that get attached to hip hip hop? How did that become part of hip hop? And will that ever go away? Will we ever get back to that strong, influential, high infinite power helping our people? What will hip hop become? And would it ever get that love back and that original originality that it had, would it ever come back? Because I'm a hip hop head. I, I listen to hip hop all the time. And I also, I still write today. I still write songs and I haven't um, uploaded a song in a while. And I listen to a little bit of everybody. You know, I spit around the love. I share the love. And I do songs, but I'm not trying to get famous or get known. It's just something I do to just like me recording now. Something I do to relieve any kind of stress that I might feel. And it's a good way to express yourself because I always say healing, uh, communication is the key to healing. That's why, you know, hip hop is a part of me. And, uh, and I like hip hop and I still write songs. And uh, if you're interested, if you want to check out a little bit, go over to SoundCloud, EBX7777. And got a few songs on there, not trying to blow up, just a lot of positive stuff. Something that uh, make you feel alive when you listen to it. And I go in on some songs, I talk about a little bit of everything, the way of the world. The things that we all are aware of that's going on, especially when it comes to our people. 
but I love hip hop. And I just want to give a little, my little perspectives on hip hop and how I feel about it. And, and I call down protection on those true artists out there that's trying to reach those in a positive way and an upliftment, especially our people out there that's, that's not worrying about getting on or getting famous and just want your voice heard and want to help other people come up too in a righteous, spiritual, positive way. And I also call down protection on those young artists that are coming into the game and just really not aware. Protect those, creator, and let them see the sharks in this this hip-hop game that we have and let them be shielded and protected from that. Let them learn the business side of it and let them be true to themselves so they're not led to the slaughter. And that's my thought. So keep, keep, keep hip hop alive, my brothers and sisters. I love hip hop. I will always love hip hop. And I hope it becomes something great and helps take our hip hop culture back. EBS cares all day, every day. If things, people keep dying, our brothers keep dying, our sisters, in, 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 in the rap game, I don't know what's going to happen, you know. Will hip-hop ever get back to the way it used to be? What will hip-hop become? That's a question. Somebody uh answer that. What, what do you think? Hit me in the comments. Let EBX know. I love y'all, and may y'all have peace in wherever part of the world that you're in. Peace, love, and power. Stay great. Peace.